Hey everybody, Chris here from Chris and G Travels. Today we have a little guy. It's the Flying Cloud 19. The exterior length is 19 feet 2 inches. The interior width is 7 foot 7 inches. And the exterior height is 9 foot 9 inches. The interior height of this little camper is 6 foot and 7 and a half inches. It's hitch weight without any propane, without any options in water. It's 550 pounds. The net carrying capacity of this little trailer is 648 pounds. It has a 23 gallon freshwater tank, a 18 gallon black water tank, and a 21 gallon gray water tank. Now G is going to give you her thoughts and the tour of the interior. Hi everyone, here we are in the 2016 Sport 16. Um, it is really teeny tiny. It's super cute but pretty small. So we're going to start in the kitchen area. The dining table is actually a decent size for how small this thing is. It pretty much takes up a half of the entire area. But it's a really nice eating space. Personally, I think in something this small, you don't need so much space over here, especially if there's just one person living in here. I think maybe you could cut down on this and make a little bit more counter space would be more useful in my opinion. But we have a little bit of storage space up above here in the kitchen. A teeny tiny baby sink but definitely would still get the job done of the dishes. So we have a small, cute little fridge down here. That's really hard to open. But it will hold what you need. The stove top is two, which is decent size. There is no oven in here at all, um, so that is something that you should know if you want to be cooking, baking in here. That's not an option. There is a microwave but it's not a convection, just a regular microwave. We've got a little bit of storage underneath the sink. Some drawers for silverware, then a little bit of tiny space down there. Definitely would just, oof, definitely would just wanna have the bare minimum in this little guy. We have a closet over here that's actually a pretty good size for how small it is. You can hang a good amount of stuff. There's some shelving in here for shoes and the necessities. Not too bad. I would actually expect smaller in here. So. so the bathroom is pretty well laid out for the size. Um, it's a wet bath. So that means that you're basically sitting on the toilet. The toilet lid is closed and you're using the shower. Or you can stand beside the toilet and use the shower. But basically what I'm saying it is really tiny. So if you don't need a whole lot of shower space, then this is perfect for you. Moving towards the bedroom area plop down right here. The whole thing moves. It feels like we're in an earthquake. Um, we've got a little bit of bare minimum storage right up here. The bed and there is a TV in the corner and that's it. That's all that's back here. No more storage or anything. There is some storage here underneath the bed. A little bit hidden but it's there. That is it for the 2016 Airstream Sport 16. It's a really good size for a weekend trip for a couple or even a family if you're just going for a couple of days. Um, it definitely could be well suited for a solo person traveling, living in it full time. Um, if this is all you need, then that's perfect. For two people living in it full time, they'd probably kill each other, so I wouldn't really suggest that because it's pretty tiny. Um, but it's perfect for weekend trips for the size. It's a okay. sign out. No, babe. This isn't a sign out video. This is a professional one. <laughs> oh, the professional, professional videos. One. Okay, quick.